I'm about to go into this bush uh, ahead of me. There's elk in there, but there's also a very large black bear. So that won't be an intended quarry species, but if I have to, I have a tag, I'll shoot the bear. But right now I'm trying to get the elk and there's a nice bull in there. It's at least a five by five. So I'm coming down from uh, downwind into the bush. Although once you're in the bush, the wind is swirling anyway and I sometimes get busted. But uh, it's early afternoon. I'm feeling optimistic. We'll see how it goes. five by five it was a standoff at 45 yards for probably 20 minutes my legs are numb I can't walk actually they're falling asleep but uh, he came closer about five more yards then he came a bit closer and uh, then he turned broadside it's about a 40 yard shot and I hit him right behind the shoulder it's a good shot he was directly ahead of me. I called him in with a cow call. I'm just going to wait a few minutes and I've done some cow calls to sort of slow him down but uh, now the work begins. It's time to phone a few friends and see if they're really your friends. <laughs> it's a nice five by five bull elk. We'll see how this goes. I've got to track him yet. Finally found him. And he's a big animal. He's not a bad five by five. What is he? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Five by six. This is not how I intended this hunt to end, but uh, yesterday at about four, three thirty four o'clock or so I shot a nice five by five minimum I thought bull elk 35 yard shot I nailed him perfectly right in the, the sweet spot behind the leg he ran and um, I gave him some time and then I went to go look for him and uh, unfortunately I pushed him out of a bed about a hundred yards away I didn't get a pass through I broke a rib on the entry but good penetration cut and contact broadhead and, um, you know, the arrow was probably a third or half into him. And he ran. And then when I bumped him, he ran up onto the crest here where I am, actually. And that's when I thought I'd just leave it alone. 
go home, pick up the quad, come back, and resume the search. Of course, then it gets dark, and then we had the mother of all storms. We haven't had a rainstorm in six weeks, and we had a major rainstorm last night. Washed all the blood trail away. So I've been back since mid-morning looking for him, and I've driven on my quad looking around the perimeter of this bush, and I didn't see him. I ran the dog for probably 25 kilometers. We never got sent. And uh, I put the dog away. I've left the truck, uh, the quad by the truck, and I thought I'm just going to recap my 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 paces so to speak because I never found the arrow either and lo and behold um, I just found him I, I literally caught it um, a glimpse of the back end actually from probably 80 yards away and I used my binoculars and I still couldn't see what it was so I just walked up and as I got within about 50 yards I realized I had finally found him Luckily, it's cool, so hopefully the meat's not spoiled or anything. Um, we had, like I said, a big, huge downpour, so now the work begins.